Well, there you go. Highs today, Santa Cruz County, 60 to 64 degrees, mostly low to low 60s to around the mid 70s for Monterey Peninsula. Salinas Valley, just widespread 70s for you getting there in Santa Clara County. Well, the valley, they had 64 to 68 degrees. What I do have for you here, though, rainfall that we picked up here. This is not a two day total, but this is over the last 24 hours. We had half an inch up in Boulder Creek down to about a 0.43 for Santa Cruz, all the way to 0.31 as you get into Watsonville. Right on the Monterey Peninsula, we're looking at very low returns from Monterey over to Seaside and Marina, but you picked up 0.22 over in Pacific Grove and a little bit more if you went into Big Sur, just under seven tenths of an inch. And then how about this? So you go right over into Salinas. You picked up uh, just uh, barely a trace going all the way from Salinas down to Soledad and then nothing for Greenfield in King City. So a bit dry as they had the rain shadow going on in San Jose. Limited returns coming back all the way from 0.01 to 0.07 and then a trace for Hollister. The rainfall itself is still well to the north and can continues to press into Humboldt, getting into uh, Sonoma County. Eventually we'll see that cross through the Bay Area as we get near the midnight hour, and that's when it's going to really begin to come heavy at times for us. You can see the area of low pressure right here continuing just to spin and drive in some of that tropical moisture, reaching down and grabbing it and putting it right back into, uh, well, the Northern California region. In fact, high pressure is such that it's keeping it just localized right to us, and it won't be skirting uh, town easily until, or easily until say about uh, early tomorrow morning into the afternoon. So we're going to have rainfall for the next six, seven hours as once it starts, and that'll be pretty nice to go into this. We're going to start off with some winds coming in from the south. That's going to continue to press most of this cloud cover to stay up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and slowly work its way down as we go from the uh, six o'clock to nine o'clock hour. You're going to see more of that rainfall heavy at times crossing the Golden Gate Bridge as we get into the midnight hour and beyond. You're going to see the heavy winds and rainfall moving into the area, and it's uh, going to be some of those, uh, those items where we're going to see more of that rainfall pressing through the mountains and then skirting right down to the interior valleys that really didn't get much rainfall like the Salinas Valley and getting into the Santa Clara Valley as well. We'll keep the rainfall for you along the coastline once we get into the morning commute and then uh, you'll see eventually it starts to uh, dissipate once we get to around the, the noon hour tomorrow and then we we'll get into the evening hours. We're going to see more clearing coming right through as the winds start to be coming in from the north and that's going to cool us down. Well, future cast is going to show us by the time we get into Friday, high pressure is trying to build in so sunny conditions. We have an onshore breeze, which will be fairly light, but high pressure continues to build into Saturday, so we'll keep temperatures warm and getting into the mid 70s. In some cases, we'll go clear to partly for Saturday, and then eventually we'll load those clouds up, continuing into the overnight hours to mostly cloudy. By the time we get into Sunday, just around the sunrise time, we're staying dry, and that'll be nice for any type of celebration you have going on for Easter, but by the time we can get over into the noon hour, yeah, the rainfall starts to work into the picture. It will be heavy at times, especially up in the hills, and then the winds themselves about 15 to 20 to 30 miles per hour and then eventually we'll see more of the clouds continue into Monday with a little bit of rainfall opportunity. So tonight we'll go with uh, clear to cloudy and breezy with overnight rainfall getting heavy at times. We'll see the temperatures dipping down to the 40s to the low 50s and then tomorrow variable clouds with morning showers and by the time we get into the afternoon as I told you they'll be con uh, continuing to decrease working from north to southeast and the winds themselves up to 20 25 miles per hour. Temperatures mostly in the 50s and 60s for you up in the Bay Area. We get down to the uh, Santa Clara Valley. We'll see most temperatures starting out in the 40s, getting into the low 60s. Yeah, much cooler today as we go, uh, or you can see as we uh, go into the next day, you're going to see much cooler conditions, but the overnight temperature starting off in the 40s and 50s, getting to the low to mid 60s for you, and then more of the same right back into Monterey, 60 degrees there. These temperatures are about one to six degrees cooler, and how about this though? 59 in Pacific Grove to 60 in Monterey, 65 for Carmel Valley, and then when you get into the uh, Santa Cruz area, you're going to see mostly low 60s yet again and then upper 50s popping into much of the mountains there. So the next eight days we continue to warm you up. We'll see uh, Friday and Saturday getting into uh, ending your work week and then the weekend starts off pretty pretty warm and then by the time we get into Sunday we're going to cool you off a bit 59 to 72 degrees and then next week is totally unsettled. How about the next uh, eight days for the overnight temperatures though? As I told you the other day it's going to be a roller coaster ride 40s and 50s and then getting down to the 30s with frost on the way. Guys? All right. Very good. How about that weather?